Oh, f- no! Welcome, welcome, Adam and Ditto, to one of my very, very favorite Game Boy Advance games. And a game that we've been planning for quite a long time and are finally going to actually play for you. Astro Boy Omega Factor. Sorry. I guess we're playing it in English. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I know you wanted to see it in Francois. But. <laughs> Astro Boy Omega Factor. I don't. I don't think I need to mess with any of this. These are Press my start. Those are more bonuses than options, really. All right. <laughs> I don't want to be ah. Uh, so <laughs> let's uh, let's do it up. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna be playing on normal, basically, other than just general like enemy patterns and stuff. The the big difference is. If you play on easy mode, you start with 30 bars of super and can earn up to 99, which is really broken and very easy. <laughs> if you play on normal, you start with 5 bars of super, and I believe you can earn up to 30. And if you play on hard, you start with 3 bars, and I think you can only earn up to, like, 9 or something. <clears throat> but I'm going to play on normal, because that's, that's just what I'm going to do. That's, that's the one. Yeah. So. Okay. Here's Astro Boy's tragic uh, backstory. Oh my god, he ran into a car. Mm hmm. I live in the car ran down. Well, that would not be extreme enough, would it? <laughs> this is supposed to be a sad moment. Tobio! We have the technology. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Whoa. So fast. Birth. This game was made by Treasure, right. who uh, you might know from Gunstar Heroes or Warrior World. So you know it's good. Oh, or Sin and Punishment. This is Dr. O'Shea. His name in Japan is Dr. Ochani Misu. Um, and Sounds like we shortened it up. Dicks. Yeah, we did. Um, and his name in, like, the 50s anime and the recent CGI movie is Dr. Elephant, which sounds ridiculous and stupid. <laughs> but the joke with him is... Nicholas Cage? Yeah. The joke with him is... Uh, no, Nicholas Cage was Dr. Tenma. This is Dr... I was saying the movie with Nicholas I know Nicholas Cage was like, he was the other one. Yeah. No, it wasn't this one. So, this is a tutorial, and I know what I'm doing, so I don't have to do this. But if you do it, you get a reward, so I'm just going to do it. Um, so basically, you can walk left and right, you can dash. Double tap to dash. You have a double jump. And, yeah. Punch shit. Punch the shit out of shit. That's right. Combo! So you can punch stuff. Astro Boy's got a lot of attacks in this game, which is really cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. You can shoot lasers. Hey, a laser. Hey, a laser. Mm -hmm. There's always lasers. It's very simple to do. You just press up and B instead of just B. And, uh... It's very, very... In most of the game, that's, like your best attack because it's it's full screen it's about as powerful as a punch so you can also kick which actually sends bad guys like flying into other bad guys and you can hit them with them that way so kicking is cool for like combos you know you can kind of mix up with that blah 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 okay so I was I talked earlier about the super bars that you get um I have five of them right now which actually might be the max but here's all my super attacks. I can do. I have machine guns in my butt. That's a thing. Well, where in else your, did you keep? Oh yeah. In your butt. In my butt. And then, like, this is just your normal dash if you double tap. But you have a super form of that that actually hurts enemies, which is also really useful, especially if you don't have enough jumps yet, because you can upgrade the amount of jumps that you get. Um, and then the last one that you get, which I'll show you now. Is a big ass giant laser, which is like 
mainly going to use that on bosses and stuff, or if there's like a million enemies on screen because it's super powerful. Okay, so here's my Omega Factor. And every little slot in this beehive little thing is a character that I can meet over the course of this game. And every time you meet a character, you get to upgrade something, uh, which is really convenient. And that's your reward for doing the tutorial is you get your first, you know, the first character in your soul and you get to upgrade something. Early on... Tutorial? <laughs> is that... Uh, yeah, if you skip the tutorial, you don't get that. But you do actually, to beat the game, you have to come back here and beat it at least once. So you would get it then. So it's not like you can miss it permanently. But, uh... Alright, hold on. What now? Well, what are you going to get now? Well, at the beginning of the game, I like to focus on life and laser. Because, like I said, the laser is really um, a good way for, like, crowd control. It's one of your best attacks. And... When you upgrade the laser, it doesn't just up upgrade your finger laser, but it also upgrades that giant one that I just showed you. So, that's a good Hadouken. Upgrades two things, which is really helpful. So, yeah. Hey, is this the game that you did a uh, uh, thing for tips and tricks? Yes, yes. I, uh, hopefully, I'm sure this game will conspire to prove me wrong, but hopefully this will be a case where I actually do know what the hell I'm talking about because I actually wrote a strategy guide for this game in Tips and Tricks magazine, so, you know, hopefully I won't run into a situation where nothing agrees with me. <laughs> well, that's, that's just our, what our let's plays are, so. Yeah, like I said. You jinxed it by mentioning that at all. No, I mean, I already said, I'm sure this game will conspire to prove me wrong, but, you know, we'll see. I love this game. It's one of my favorites on the Game Boy Advance. Um, Really, really solid platforming and side scrolling, beat em up type game. Yeah. So he's explaining all the things that I can power up. You know, punch, laser, shot, jets, hypersensors. And some of the stuff, the hypersensors, you can see there's only four of them compared to everybody else, there's six. Um, those let you, like, find hidden guys and also get through certain areas that you need them to see in. So, you have to upgrade those eventually. That's important. Yeah, and the jets give you more jumps, like I said, which there are some hidden characters that you can only find if you have a, a lot of jumps, so. But I'll, I'll explain on, along the way. So, yeah. Basically, sometimes you meet a character and you don't immediately get them in your like a factor, so he's, he's telling me about that right now. Here's his little lab assistant, Watto. That's her name? Watto, yes. She's, she's got the same name as the junkyard dealer from Star Wars, Phantom Minute? She's only got one T in her name. Oh, okay. That makes it totally different. Yeah. <laughs> Asteroid. Asteroid. Asteroid City. Pretty unfortunate name for a girl. Watto? <laughs> yeah. Help! Alright, so here's the first stage. Oh my gosh, she got kicked out the media. She did. <laughs> so, as your boy being. Here you are at home where it's been perfectly safe, and some robots just show up and. Did that. Yeah. As your boy being the vandal that he is can break every window in this building. So, that's <laughs> fun. Oh my god, is that a bead? I'm sorry. I got that out of the way, alright? We don't have to do it now, okay? There we go. <laughs> no more... No more Eagle Raptor quotes tonight. <laughs> That's what you say. Yeah, I want to watch. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Somebody will find a way to sneak one or two in there. Why wow. is that building called Enter Enter? Why is that building called Sega? Because Sega published this game. They that, doesn't, that doesn't answer my question about the Enter Enter building. What about that building behind Sega? I think it says something. Onigiri? It looks like it says Ohio. Huh. <laughs> With an extra, like, A in it, you know? So the way that you build up... The way that you build up super, if you haven't noticed already, is just by killing stuff. Oh my god. Also, like I said earlier, Treasure made this game, so they're advertising their own game franchise. Franchises. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Gun stars. Also, there's a tuna building. I'm not sure what what that's doing there. But. That's just where the tuna is made. There's, tuna. there's two tuna buildings. What you don't realize is that tuna is now the dominant 
form of food in this futuristic... This far in the future? Land, yeah. When there's all this left. Okay, so once you destroy that traffic light, the cars stop trying to mow you down. But before you go to the next screen, you're going to want to fly up here and break that window. And we get to meet Alejo. I don't know if that's really his name. This is one of Astro Boy's, like, buddies from school. And one of the things that's really awesome about this game is they, they work in all of Osama Tezuka's characters from all of his bodies of work. And, um, it's really cool, you know? They, they got me to care about Astro Boy and a lot of these characters. And, like, even if some of them, like this one, are just small cameos, you know, whoever, the, the people that made this game really had a lot of respect for um, Astro Boy, you know? So that's very cool. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade sensor just to get it out of the way. Cause... I w so I won't have to do that for a little while, you know? It's not very often that you need it. So, I think I can get by without more crucial upgrades for at least the first stage. The machine guns aren't... they can kill weaker enemies, as you saw, they kill the bees. But they're not as powerful as most of your other attacks. They usually just stun bad guys. But that can be really helpful too, you know, if there's a bunch of guys barreling down on you, you can kind of give yourself some more time with the machine gun. Shot at over here. Gaia States? Yeah, Gaia States. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Alright. Ooh, big beast. Whoa! That is, that is one of the one of the problems with this game is like they just a lot of the enemies are just like giant versions. They're just like resized sprites of the smaller enemies. And it, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ugly. They look they look kind of gross. Yeah. <laughs> so that they didn't, they, they didn't like resprite anything. Yeah, that's that's kind of oh I needed that heart. Damn it! I just walked ahead without it. Here's a question: Like, uh, do these Bomberman guys have a name? These guys that I'm killing right now? Yep. Well, I'm dead. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that they have names. I don't know that any of the enemies in this game have names. Some of the, like, mini-bosses have names. You're dead, alright. Oh, they're Bomberman guys, yeah. Unless you get a better name. Bomberman guys. <laughs> That one kind of looks like Baby Bond. Who's Baby Bond? Bond. Oh, Baby Bond, like from Mega Man Legends. Got it. Yeah. I thought his name was Bond Bond. It is Bond Bond. Oh, it is? Oh, it's not his baby. Way to go. I mean, he is a baby. It's true. <laughs> Hold on, what's the name of the baby robot from Captain, Co Captain Commando? I have no baby idea. Baby face, is it? <laughs> no, maybe not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask if there is a limit to how often you could use your laser. Well, that's what the super bar is for. I thought I. Oh, this laser, no, like the small the one. The regular laser, the finger laser. There's absolutely no limit. Uh, his name is Baby Head. Hoover oh. in the Japanese version. Why? Oh. <laughs> Hoover. I was I was close. Baby face, Baby Head. They both both the same part of the body. Huh. Also, robot fighters. We know how much Ricky likes those. Yeah, they're my favorite thing. The thing about the laser, I don't want to go. I don't want to change the subject again. But hey, laser. Matt was asking about it, and like, there's no limit to how often you can use it. But when you come out of it, there's like a couple frames where you're vulnerable. So I thought maybe it was like Rob's laser, where like the less you use it, like the more powerful it becomes. No, it's just it does what it does. You can't like hold it down and have it continuously come out. You know. It lasts a certain amount of time, and then it puts you into this short, like, vulnerable state, you know? But it is, even with that, it's very, very useful. I recommend using it a whole, a whole, a, a lot. Oh no, a giant robot spider! <laughs> Again, they just didn't, they just resized it. That's just, just crazy. Yeah, that's that's one of the only like big problems I have with this game. You know, the sprites are a little lazy. There's a lot of ugly 
blown up stuff. Astro Boy looks good, though. He does. And a lot of the bosses look good. Because he's not resized. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, the basic sprites look good, even if the stupid resized enemies. Hey, hey, man. Hey! Look who's ahead. Magnemite? Magnemite. It's not, it's not spelled right. No, it's not. <laughs> It's spelled the way it probably should be spelled. It's spelled the way it sounds. Alright, so I'm at Wato Chiyoko. And I'm gonna upgrade life, because I could use it. I recommend upgrading life. I, have a, I rec recommend upgrading my life. Wato Chiyoko! Hmm, mm -hmm. I have a trouble. I do too. I, I've died on this guy a lot. But what's really sad is that it's only the first boss, you know? So, I don't like admitting that I've died on this guy a lot. I almost got him. He's gonna start jumping me. Here we go. Jump the slash. Oh! Yep, killed me. Down, get Hey, Ricky. What's up? What's going on? I don't know. There was like lag up the ass. Oh, was it my fault? No, <laughs> Don dropped. Well, how about Don not host then? I'm not, he's not, I'm hosting. Which also might not be a good idea, but whatever, at least nobody's fucked. <clears throat> Can you guys still see and everything? There's yeah. audio? Yeah, yeah. So it's on yeah. continue, retry, exit, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Where's Don? Uh, he dropped. Alright, well, get him back in here when you can. Okay? Yep. Alright. Anyway, fighting Magnemite. Who looks nothing like Magnemite. Just, I, nobody's pointed that out yet. Well, I, 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 I asked earlier, like, is this Magnemite already? But it was too busy lagging. Omega laser. Yeah. Alright, he's gonna start jumping, trying to crush me. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm gonna get crushed. Shit. <laughs> I got crushed. That's right, he's almost dead. He's almost dead, bro. Nice Alright, I got him, I got him, man. It's alright, I got him. Phase one clear? Are we all on board? He got this man. He got this by the ass while I'm watching him blow up right now. Okay. Okay, now it says phase one clear. I'm just, I'm just making sure. Alright, I'm just making sure. Alright. Whoa, who's this asshole? He having a hard time with Magnemite? Looks like you need to evolve. Wow, this game was self aware. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. You must grow stronger and evolve. What the fuck? 
showing what his Astro Boy's face looks like right now. Yeah. <laughs> I get I get to be as cool as Magnemite. Fucking. I get it.